Well, look what popped up in your YouTube newsfeed. <laughs> it's Dirt Guy Drive Time. Yep, it's me again. Uh, well, Dirt Guy Drive Time, it's a show where I sit in traffic on my way home from work. Actually, not so much traffic today because it's uh, Valentine's President Day or some crap. I don't know. Uh, a little lighter today, uh, which is fine. Although, I still have jack holes driving in front of me. Hold on, I gotta change lanes. Do, 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 do. Hold, please. Do, 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 do. All right, so anyway, here I am on my way home from work, making video again. <laughs> you know, it's interesting. Um, we had a uh, birthday party at my house Saturday night for uh, Cindy Brown, the queen of everything. Uh, it was her birthday. She's turned 30 years old again. Man, I married her young. Woo! Uh, that's right, baby. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. And all of a sudden, I find my kids. Um, watching Dirt Guy Drive Time videos uh, on the TV in my living room, and I'm like, whoa, what are you doing? And, uh, you know, as I was sort of trolling through the the videos that I've made uh, in the Dirt Guy persona, you know, I may have toot my own horn or anything, but I made some pretty good stuff, I think. And not all of it, of course. Uh, you know, sometimes it's that. Blah, 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 blah. But um, I think I made some some good videos that, that have some good messages or whatnot in there. So it got me thinking, eh, maybe I should uh, make a video again. Here's here's why I haven't uh, been making videos on the way home from work. I finally, uh, you know, they made me the lead super duper intendant. I have two superintendents working for me. I'm gonna have another superintendent working for me here this week. And then a project engineer and a laborer. This big staff. And once I became lead superintendent, and then my uh, my formal super duper intendant became general super duper intendant, has vaulted now to director of operations. So um, I'm kind of stuck without a project manager, it seems. And so it's like I'm running the whole show as if it was my company. And that doesn't work for me, baby. I, uh, I got out of being a contractor because I don't want to be a contractor anymore. And yet here I am. Uh, and so these last, you know, few months on the way home from work, I just, I decompress. I, I, I don't even feel like talking. I get home and, and more often than not, I'll tell the first lady, I, uh, I don't want to talk about my day. I'm done with my day. And then after a couple of brewskis, I start like doing this. <laughs> she gets to hear all about it anyway. But, um, yeah, it's, it's been, uh, it's been pretty stressful, frankly. And the thing is, I've, um, a little update you know i'm building three hotels now me and my team are building three hotels and we finally topped out we got the roof on it we're coming back down we're, we've almost finished drywalling the fourth floor of the big set of hotels and you know that's when the wheels came off i can't get enough manpower people promise me stuff and they don't deliver it hey here's a good one for you the uh, roofing contractor said it would take him three weeks to put the roof the watertight roof on my building three weeks and uh cool we had no rain forecast for three weeks so i'm like boom get her done baby so we start putting drywall on the fourth floor now a little backstory if it rains on that without the watertight roof it like rains inside the building it's just like raining down on all four floors <laughs> it's so exciting but hey sunny weather he's gonna get done let's let's, let's make it happen you know and so we did that and then uh the friday he was supposed to be supposed to be done came along and he wasn't done and then we went into the next week and the next week forecasted rain the following sunday you feel me you feel where this is going i've got drywall on three quarters of the fourth floor they're just flying along and well they're not really flying along <laughs> let's be honest they're just as slow as every other mf on my job <laughs> but whatever and uh so i told the guy on friday i'm like roof's not watertight so I expect you to be here Monday morning to walk the job with me to assess the back charge that's coming to you to replace all of the drywall on fourth floor. No, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. We're going to work all weekend. We're going to work 24 hours a day. He didn't get it done, frankly. By the grace of the great spirit almighty, it didn't rain on my hotel. It rained in Southern California didn't rain on my hotel so anyway that i just processed that on the way home now you know it's like eh, eh, trying to get my mind off and think about my model railroad crap but then my model railroad crap brought up some stress <laughs> it's all good all the time 
Um, the, the thing is, I really enjoy the way I'm making my, my model railroad videos now for my modeling channel. I, I, I've got this thing where I get to get mine. I get to work on my hobby without having to perform like a trained monkey. Because, you know, I, once we hit 10,000 subscribers, nothing changed. I got 13,000 something now. Um, no significant difference. I mean, I'm grateful for every subscriber. And, you know, I have uh, one video out there that's got almost 33,000 views on it now. Boom! That's saying something. That's like the big boys. But anyway, I digress. It's part of my charm. Um, I got this new way where I just work in the hobby room and then I'll shoot what I'm going to shoot. I'll send you a video. And so that was kind of easing up. But then all of a sudden, um, my good friends at YouTube said I could offer channel memberships for my modeling channel. It's my railroad. And I'm like, well, that's cool. Because now what I can do is I can make some special videos only for members in addition to, hear that point, in addition to what I was already doing. And they can enjoy some stuff. And, you know, there's some people that want more Steve. They want more of me. I don't know why, but they do. And I'm grateful for it. So those people, it's like, okay, I'll give you more. It's behind the scenes. It's kind of wacky. It's kind of having some fun. And we started our live talk show again for members. Well, geez, God spank me for offering channel memberships on my freaking channel. Oh my God. In one video, I lost 171 subscribers. They were like, oh, wait a minute. You're selling out to the band. I don't want to watch your shit anymore. Nothing changed on the stuff you've been seeing for free. This is only for people who want to take a deeper dive. What is the, pardon my French, what is the fucking problem? I don't understand it. Nobody bailed out when the channel went monetized. You know, YouTube says, hey, now we'll sell commercials on your videos. It wasn't this massive exodus. Oh, you're selling out. You're selling commercials on your railroad. Fucking A, I am. And I'm selling memberships. Let me tell you something, naysayers. Um, here's the deal. I'm on a fixed budget now. I do not have money from auto railroading. I don't. A, B, my time is worth something. So I don't mind saying, hey, if you'd like to pay an entire dollar ninety-nine cents a month, by the way, to watch uh, some extra content, uh, God bless you and thank you. Why is that so difficult? Why is that such a big deal? Then I get a budget where I can buy railroad stuff and if I buy railroad stuff I can make more videos and the thing is if you don't enjoy the content don't pay the freaking money just unsubscribe from the channel it's funny um you know I I don't know that anybody has gone to to anybody that produces entertainment for value and blows up because it's like you want to get paid to be an actor you want to get paid to have tv shows on tv oh that's an atrocity Oh, spank, spank, spank. Really? Yeah. I don't, you know, Model Railroader magazine produces a magazine. Nobody says, how can we charge for your magazine? It should be free to the hobby. You're sold out. I don't understand it. And so here, here's where I'm at with it. Whatever. All right. Unsubscribe. Become a member. Don't become a member. Love it or hate it. I'm still going to keep doing what I'm doing. And another thing that I did is I made all my comments where they're held for review so I can review all of them and what will happen is a comment will pop up some snarky MFR, and I just go bloop, delete it and never makes it uh, only positive encouraging now people can disagree with my technique or suggest something different that's good that's called conversation right collaboration they don't have to see it my way oh I let those through and I comment hey that was pretty good hey next time maybe I'll try that technique very positive stuff. Uh, one last thing, and just in case this video is going long, and um, I know a couple of my old moderators for my Track Smack show uh, from back in the day watch this occasionally. Uh, maybe they don't anymore. They hate me, as it is, because <laughs> I just stopped doing that show. Uh, was not motivated to. Was not getting the support that the effort uh, demanded on the deal so I just said I took one Saturday off and then it felt so good to be able to sleep in and it felt so good to stay up late and work on my railroad on a Friday it just turned into more than one I told everybody that uh, I'm, I'm done with it for a while and they all got mad at me yeah I don't know maybe I didn't handle it right but whatever I'm not mad at them anymore matter of fact I am such a cool dude that on the membership side of my railroad show we are doing the live talk show again twice a month not every Saturday, twice a month. But you know what we did? 
we put it at a new time. We put it at 8 a.m. Pacific instead of 7 a.m. Because I told those guys, if you want to take over the show or do a show, the time, just do it. So I haven't seen what they've done, but uh, 7 o'clock's theirs. I'm not going to have them take all their hard efforts and then have me come back with, hey, do a Trek Smack, even though I've got like, um, as of today, 93 members uh, on the channel right now, 93 which makes for some great conversations, some great comments, some great brainstorming. It actually made a great live show. We had some, it was awesome, the turnout and the, the community was great. I dug it. So here, here's the thing, I got the drama at work. Oh, one more thing and then I'll get to the big maybe wrap up. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, I am not unique in that uh, st stress is out there, right? You guys have stressed out lives. I've got a stressed out life. I'm probably part of the 80% of the world that says, I really don't like doing what I do, but what else can I do? I'm kind of stuck with it, right? I'm just stuck with where I'm at. I want to, I like to go do video full time, not even just moderate with stuff. I love the, that, that medium for creativity. I love doing videos, uh, except when I don't get enough sleep, I get all tired and cranky and butthead, but anyway. Um, so all that being said, um, I will say that I have been under a great deal of stress and uh, this has been my time to process it on the way home from work and on the way to work. So not a whole lot of the video thing happening uh, the last few months because I, then I get home, I got deadlines to meet, Model Railroad or Video Plus is uh, gonna take on a second show for me. I'll be doing two shows now for them a month, which is cool. I mean, what an honor to be part of that posse, by the way. And uh, plus the membership videos and my regular videos and. You know, sometimes I just get tired. And so I, I'm, I'm coming out of the shell, though, I think is where I'm going with it. I'm coming out of the shell. I think I'm going to uh, pull myself up by my bootstraps. And if there's people out there that enjoy this broadcast, and there's some who do. There's some that's like, dude, how come you don't do Dirt Guy anymore? What the hell's wrong with you? They actually say that to me sometimes. I don't know why. Um, you know, I, I'm not going to promise you, but depending on how this goes today. Matter of fact, you guys just helped me pass a whole bunch of time just talking. I'm not bored. Right? I'm, kind of, I'm kind of getting pumped up, actually. That's an amazing, amazing thing. So uh, maybe I'll make some more. I, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll just make one just so I can hear myself talk. So, hey, thanks to all of you who didn't unsubscribe from this channel. Um, but if you haven't subscribed yet, I don't recommend doing it because it'll only encourage me. <laughs> I thought I'd leave it on a high note. So anyway, uh, that's what I got for you today. It is uh, the Monday after it's President's Day or some shit. I don't know. So uh, have a uh, safe trip home. And until I see you again, uh, drive on, my friends.